What's up guys, Mr. Bazy here, and today we're going to be talking about Halo 5 Guardians and the movement speed inside of Halo 5 Guardians. Now, I do want to mention that this is a, it's going to seem small when I mention this, but it is slightly crucial, okay? It, it does, it can and does usually play a fairly big impact in the game. So, what we've seen in the past is, you know, 343 and even Bungie have, you know, basically kept the movement speed at 100%. Yeah, it's normal you know, whatever, the vanilla Halo 5, vanilla Halo 4, Halo 3, whatever it may be. Competitive, on the other hand, usually doesn't like that speed. They like to increase it by a little bit, you know, mainly the most popular being by about 10%. Um, now, that might not seem like a lot to you, but when you think about it in terms of practicing, it can be quite significant because you're always going to have to practice at 100% 10% movement speed to maintain the same consistency again and again and again when you're shooting. You basically just when you're shooting, you know, being a good player isn't just about your gun skill, but that does play a significant factor. And when you're always going to be, if you're going back and forth on 100 and 110% movement speed, your muscle memory is never going to lock in and you know be extreme. You know that the kind of persist, you know the the kind of consistency that you draw. That's like jaw dropping. And the reason for that is because you know when you see people that are just really on point, they're always playing the same thing. They probably, you know, are with a team or whatever they do. Maybe it's just a, a competitive free-for-all and they go in and they play the same game type all the time with the same settings because that is what's going to gain you that muscle memory. Okay, that's what muscle memory is. So, when you go in, you know, the best example of this is when you go to, you, let's say you want to be a better sniper, right? You want to be more effective to your team. So you're like, okay, let's go play some team snipers. I'll get better team snipers. And you will get better at sniping. Okay, I'm not saying you won't. Uh, you will. But the, the, the fact of the matter is when you go into the competitive game type and now you're moving at 110% movement speed rather than 100%, you're going to be missing some of the time by fractions of millimeters, okay? It's going to be very close, but you're going to be missing some of the time because it's a different movement speed. Now, you could just say, okay, well, I'm going to, you know, every chance I get, I'm going to go for the sniper uh, in the competitive playlist. So, I, you know, basically that's okay. Uh, and, you know, that would work too, but, you know, sometimes you have different roles to play. You know, to win a game, you can't always be going after the sniper. You have to give it to, you know, one, the best sniper on the team if, if apl applicable. You know, if, if they're able to actually pick it up at the time, you have to let them do that. And also, you may have different responsibilities. You may be across the map at the time, you know what I mean? So you're not always going to have a chance to pick up the kind of power weapon you want and get some practice with it in a scrimmage or something. Uh, so, you know, the best way to do that would be in Team Snipers, you know, get your reaction time up, get your quick scopes down, get your, uh, flick shots down. Flick shotting is the main thing here that I'm speaking of because that's what, you know, is, you know, the definition of what muscle memory does for you in game is allow you to flick shot the same way every single time and get those headshots or get whatever shot you may need to pull off at the time. Uh, but that's the point here is you're going to be missing by fractions of millimeters some of the time. And me personally, I don't like to leave that up to chance. I don't like to leave my weapon consistency up to that kind of chance. You know, the way I see it, you're going to be hitting your shots probably 80% of the time, maybe 75% of the time, and then other 25% of the time, or, you know, maybe even smaller, depending on who you are, I'm just giving a rough estimate, you know, you're going to be missing, and it's going to be by very, very small increments. You'll, you'll probably notice that. You may not have noticed that yet, but if, if you figure out, you know, go into custom games, see what the speed is of Team Snipers, and then go to the competitive playlist, and I bet you anything that the competitive playlist is about 10% faster, and that's just something that the competitive playlist likes to do. They like to, uh, you know, increase the speed a little bit because it does make it a bit more uh, fast paced. It does just, it improves it slightly. You know what I mean? Not a big change, but slightly. And I guarantee you, if you start paying attention to what I'm saying now, if you start, you know, realizing that, hey, you know, how much am I really missing by? You're probably going to notice that you're missing by fractions of inches, just very barely missing them, okay? It's probably not going to be by much at all, and if you are missing, if you are hitting them, you know, maybe you're, you're trying to flick shot to their head, and maybe you hit their neck or something, very close, but not enough to the game, for the game to register that, hey, this is a headshot. So, uh, let me know if you notice this, or if you agree with this in the comments down below. Uh, it's something that I do notice, uh, you know, it's something I noticed back in Halo Reach, to be, uh, as, as a matter of fact. I didn't even notice it in Halo 3, um, I, maybe I did towards the end, but I definitely noticed it a big majority in Halo Reach. I was playing Team Snipers, I was like, oh, this is a great idea, I'm gonna become an amazing sniper, and I'm gonna go into MLG, and I'm just gonna wreck faces. And then I go into MLG, and yeah, I got better, you know, I'm not gonna say I didn't, because playing Team Snipers will make you better at hitting your shots and everything, but I noticed I was like wow I'm, I'm barely missing these guys what's wrong I'm, I'm, I'm just just inches away from hitting the shots every single time and I was like oh you know what now I realize 
they're moving at a slightly faster speed. I've gotten so used, because I did play a lot of Team Snipers to try to get better. You know, I've gotten so used to hitting these people at this speed, and this speed only, that now that I'm trying to hit them at 110% speed, I'm missing by inches. And that's what's going to happen some of the time. And again, I don't like to leave that up to chance. So once again, let me know what you're thinking about in the comments below, whether you agree, disagree, or maybe you have something to add to this. Uh, with that being said, rate the video what you think it deserved. And if you'd like to become a Sage in training, make sure you subscribe today. This has been Mr. Bazy, your favorite Sage, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.